Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Golden Jolene. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch and kind of mini reviews on all of my MAC lipsticks. I have 10 MAC lipsticks. I don't really have a variety of shades. They're mostly reds and nudes. Those are just the colors I'm comfortable with, so if there aren't any pictures. If there aren't any lipsticks in this video that don't suit you, I'm really sorry. These are just the ones that I have. So I'm going to go in a weird order. <laughs> I want to go in the order that I purchased these in. So they're not going to be in any color order. So the first lipstick I ever purchased by MAC is MAC's Diva. This is a matte finish, which is typically what I like to go for. I love this lipstick. This lipstick is so pretty. And I, I just love blue tone deep reds, so this is kind of like my signature red. Not this specific lipstick, but any lipstick that is in this shade. I just love it so much. It is super matte. I know how some people like to say that the brighter reds are more a classic red, but I feel like this red is a classic. It lasts on my lips all day and it doesn't move from my lip line like other lipsticks tend to do. So I just really love this lipstick. The next lipstick I'm going to talk about is Max Whirl. I remember I went to the Max store and I was looking for a nude and I w it was between this one and Velvet Teddy and I didn't know which one to pick. So I asked the Mac worker which one is darker, Whirl or Velvet Teddy and she told me that Whirl is darker. So I went with Whirl. I am so happy that I bought this because this is a beautiful nude. It has like a tiny bit of rose to it, which is probably why I like it. It doesn't have too much pink to it or too much brown. And it does not make me look like I have concealer lips. It is that perfect shade. We are going on the opposite end of the spectrum here in terms of color. And the next color I have is Viva Glam Ariana Grande. This is so dark. It looks like a black in the tube, but it's actually just a very deep purple color. I forgot to say that Whirl is matte and this one is matte too. This color is just a little patchy. I do like it, but my lips need to be really exfoliated. I love a dark purple or a dark red, don't get me wrong, but that lipstick is just a little hard to work with. Also, it does tend to like come out of my lip line. And I have used other lipsticks that dark before and they don't do that. So, I mean, it's not a problem that can't be fixed. You can easily just line your lips before you apply this and then put this on. But yeah, that's the only issue I have with that. But I do love the lipstick. Next lipstick is actually a part of the Selena Quintanilla collection. This is also matte and this is in Dreaming of You. Okay, I don't regret buying this because I love Selena and I love the packaging and I love that it's red. This is identical to Matte Diva. <laughs> there is literally no difference between this and Mac Diva. This is Dreaming of You and this is Diva. They are exactly the same. The only difference is, is that I feel like Dreaming of You is a little bit more matte, but other than that, they are the same color. Obviously, if I like Diva, I like this lipstick too. But I don't really want to reach for it because I just don't want to use it up since it is in the Selena packaging. <laughs> but I do like the lipstick. So the next lipstick is also in the Selena packaging. And this is in the color Como La Flor. This is not a um, matte finish. This is an amplified cream. And this is more of like your classic red. It's a brighter red. I feel like it's more neutral. I mean, there's definitely some blue in it, but there's also orange in it. I don't really reach for it because it is a cream finish. I do love this lipstick. So the next lipstick is actually the one I'm wearing on my lips. This is Max Taupe and this is also a matte lipstick. This lipstick reminds me a lot of a lighter version of Velvet Teddy. This is Velvet Teddy, this is Taupe. I feel like they are the same shade except that this one is lighter and has a hint bit more of pink to it. But I love this. I actually tend to reach for this one more than I tend to reach for Whirl. This is probably my favorite matte lipstick by MAC. Actually, I think Velvet Teddy is. You know what? It's a tie. <laughs> but since we're talking about Velvet Teddy, let's just move on to that shade. This is Velvet Teddy. This is another beautiful nude and it's also matte. There is a lot of pink to this lipstick, but there's also 
a beige and like brown in it. I'm sorry, I don't really know how to describe colors, but this is probably, like, like I said, it's a tie, but you know what? I think I like this one a little bit more. I do tend to wear this one more than that one. I wear them both pretty often, but I like this one a little more. So the next three lipsticks I actually got in New York, not that it matters, but it was my first time in New York City, so these three lipsticks have a special place in my heart. The first lipstick that I knew I had to get was New York Apple, and this is a frost. I hate frost. I hate shimmery lips, but the frost in this lipstick does not show up. This is so pretty. It is more of a muted red. It's not natural by any means because red lips aren't really natural, but it, it's not like a bright in your face type of red. I tend to wear these when I'm only wearing mascara and it actually complements the look beautifully. I feel like the frostiness in this lipstick doesn't make your lips look flat. It makes them look shiny, almost like it highlights them. So the next lipstick I got was D for Danger. This is another one <laughs> that looks like Diva, but this one has a lot more blue to it. This one is Diva, and this one is D for Danger, and then this one is Como La Flor. As you can see, this looks a lot more orange than this one. Honestly, I don't really have much more else to say about this lipstick. It's blue toned, it's red, and those are my favorite types of colors. I mean, those are my favorite types of reds, so of course I love that lipstick and it's also matte. So the next one, and I actually got this lipstick for free. This is Mangrove. Mangrove. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. This is an orangey red lipstick. Now I'm going to swatch this next to Como La Flor just so you can see the difference. Now, wow, now that I put them next to each other, I feel like Como La Flor is a lot more orange than it is blue. Whatever. I'm not good at describing colors. I'm not a huge fan of orange. I actually hate orange lips, but like bright on orange lips, not red oranges. I'm okay with some red oranges and this is one of them. This is beautiful. I love this in the summer and in the fall, especially with a warm look. This is pretty new still, so I haven't gotten around to using it that much but this is a very nice lipstick. So something I forgot to mention is that the darker the shade, the darker the stain. So the matte shades don't, I mean the matte, the nude shades don't stain as bad, but these darker ones do. Okay guys, so those are all of my matte lipsticks. Those are all my thoughts I had to say on each one, and those are the swatches. I hope to be getting more MAC lipsticks in the future, just because I love the formula. It's really nice, and I don't know, I just really love the packaging. It really catches my attention. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!